Hey folks, it's Mac again. Today, the dangers of MFA push notifications. MFA overload is on the rise. No, not the overload that involves hearing about MFA every day, or the kind that involves entering 14 codes a day. Overload as in the attack. The one that's rooted in simple social engineering. MFA overload by MFA push notifications. I mean, blast those victims with enough 2FA push notifications, they're bound to accept the authentication of their credentials. Yes, the credentials have to be known in advance. Data dumps, brute force, spraying. <laughs> we all know how secure users keep their credentials. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> the simplicity is admirable. I mean, just hammer away at those credentials and the push notifications are set to follow. It's a good time to throw at the CyberSec mantra, security isn't convenient. Most users don't realize this attack exists. They actually assume it's a safeguard, a check-in, or a security feature. They really don't understand they're approving a fake notification. The problem lies somewhere between users inherently trusting systems to not being mindful to, for the love of all things holy, please make it stop. Don't you do it. One more push. Bah! Cognitive overload. In social engineering terms, authority, intimidation, and familiarity with a view to impersonation. What to do? Be sure to add this to your CyberSec awareness training. Add the push attack into your slide deck. Mac, the end users I know, they take their passwords extremely seriously. <laughs> I couldn't even get through it. For technical measures, you may be able to limit the number of pushes over time to at least slow things down. You may want to enable login notifications to make users more aware of what just happened. You could look to enable policy to utilize geolocation or timing anomalies to help thwart this attack. You could disable push notifications and require manual code entry. Maybe it's time to look at a mobile initiated authentication technology. Maybe it's time to add more factors. Either way, you might not want to rely on the weakest link to your security, people. And that's how we make it better and move it forward.